Good evening, and welcome to another episode of my A Verse a Day Keeps the Muslims Away. Today I have a very interesting um, ayah, and I'll be reading out of the Quran, <clears throat> Surah Al-Tawbah, ayah raqam 29 wa 30. <clears throat> Fight those who do not believe in Allah, nor in the latter day, nor do they have prohibit what Allah and His Apostle have prohibited, nor follow the religion of truth out of those who have been given the book until they pay the tax in acknowledgement of superiority and they are in a state of subjection. Moving on. And the Jews say, Azair is the son of Allah. And the Christians say, the Messiah, Al-Masih, is the son of Allah. These are the words of their mouths. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieve before. May Allah destroy them, how they are turned away. Lovely, isn't it? Regarding these two verses, I want to bring your attention to two things. In verse number 29, the last part, until they are in a state of subjugation. So, once we are told of Islam, if you don't want to convert, it's fine. You have to pay taxes, but you must admit and acknowledge that Islam is a superior religion and you live in a state of subjection. That, that means being subjugated. You are a slave. You belong to them. You answer to them. You are no longer your own identity. You have been subjected to their ideals. Moving on to the end of the next verse, verse 30. <clears throat> um, it is translated into English that may Allah destroy them. However, in the Arabic section right next to it, right here in the Arabic section, it says, <clears throat> قَتَلَهُمْ اللَّهُ قَتَلَهُمْ اللَّهُ does not mean may God destroy them. It says may God kill them. And you know it's really nice how these how things get lost in translation. Um, I'm sure somebody would argue argue with somebody trying to convert and say hey may God destroy these bad thoughts that thinking that the Messiah is the son of God or Isaiah is the son of God but Actually, I'm not even sure who Isaiah is, so that's probably something they made up. But it really says, "Qatalahum Allahi." May God kill them. And I would, if somebody wants to argue this with me, I would like to see one, just a single one, Arabic-speaking Muslim, tell me how this has been translated this way and why it's not translated properly. I don't want a Malaysian Muslim, I don't want no Pakistani or an African American convert, I want a real native Arabic speaking Muslim. Just to, just to tell me, why is it not translated properly and why must God kill others if they believe differently? That's all for today. Thank you.